Hundred years ago, X-ray diffraction was first used to understand the arrangements of atoms and crystals. Today, it has become a major tool in the hands of chemists, biologists and pharmacological researchers. Scientists say that even after a century of development, the field is yet to reach its pinnacle. Here is a report. Hundred years ago, Max von Lau and the father-son duo, William Henry Bragg and William Lawrence Bragg, discovered and demonstrated the phenomenon of X-ray diffraction and its use in understanding crystal structure. 19th January, CSIR NCL, NCSS and ISAR Pune jointly organized a half-day symposium to celebrate the centenary of the discovery of X-ray diffraction. Eminent scientists in this field spoke during the event recalling history and reminiscing about their own contributions to the field. And these elliptical spots is what led Florence to realize that the reflection is actually nothing but diffraction of the planes of the lattice. The thing that has revolutionized study of quantum matter science, physics, chemistry and biology is the diffraction. Molecular modeling, Linus Pauling's alpha helix and beta structure in the early 50s, and the crowning glory DNA structure in 1953, followed by triple helix of uh, G. N. Ramachandran on collagen. They're all great intellectual achievements. And not just of protein, but protein, DNA, viruses, protein DNA complexes, and you can see the exponential rise in the number of structures that have. Development of this field has led to 15 Nobel Prizes in physics, chemistry, physiology and medicine. Although we are celebrating 100 years, but it is not uh, these big, it's a peak yet. We have yet to see the full potential of this technique. This is Nita with camera person Revathi reporting from Pune.